Welcome to the Film and TV channel. We're going to have a look at a film called Bruised today. B-R-U-I-S-E-D, Bruised. Yes, uh, 129 minutes, very long. Uh, yeah, it didn't quite work for me, that length of time for this one. 15 certificate, a sports drama. This one directed by Halle Berry in her directorial debut. She also stars in it. Hey, she's a clever girl. Uh, from a screenplay by Michelle Rosenfarb. As well as Halle Berry, we've got Shamia Anderson, Aidan Canto, Sheila Atim and Stephen McKinley Henderson. Uh, limited theatrical release with this one on November the 17th, 2021. Uh, prior to streaming on Netflix on November the 24th, although I haven't here in the UK. I, didn't, I couldn't find out my Netflix, that's for sure, but it might be there now. I've just not looked the last couple of days since I watched it. Uh, Jackie Justice, yes, this is what it's about. Is a mixed martial arts fighter, not my favourite sport, guys, to be honest with you, who leaves the sport in disgrace. Down her looking similar with rage and regret years after the fight she's coaxed into a brutal underground fight by her manager and boyfriend Desi yeah nasty nasty piece of work and grabs the attention of a fight league promoter who promises Jackie a life back in the octagon but the road to redemption becomes unexpectedly personal when Manny, the son she gave up as an infant, shows up at her doorstep. A triumphant story of a fighter who claims her power in and out of the ring when everyone has counted her out. Well, well fair words, not mine. Any good? Well, as at the 27th of uh, November 2021, I'd say January then, I'm thinking ahead, 20, uh, <laughs> November 2021. Uh, this is about uh, 6 pm UK time. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes only got a 57% of its 46 reviewers a positive. That's not great. An average rating of just 5.4 out of 10. So a little bit below that magical 6 out of 10 I like to see. That's 27 fresh and 23 rotten. So at least it's slightly more for the fresh. Uh, Tim Roby from the Daily Telegraph. He's fresh on this uh, Daily Te Telegraph here in the UK. Uh, he says, Bruised is a marks for effort sort of film, but also a genuine reminder of Betty's acting talent and drive to make films with gritty emotional clout. Yeah, I can't disagree with that. Uh, Johnny Alec Sinski is rotten. He's from the New York Post. He said, uh, the only reason you like this hot mess of a purse is that it's Berry who plays her. Next time, put it to better use in a movie with some originality. Yeah, I can't disagree with that either. Uh, the consensus of the website reads, Bruised isn't as hard-hitting as its title might suggest, but Halle Berry impresses on either side of the camera in her directorial debut. Metacritic, the other little critic site we look at, it's only got an average again, even a little bit down on that, 51 out of 100. That's based on 19 critics. And of those 19 critics, five were positive, 14 were mixed, and one, yeah, I, I would fall in the mixed category on this one, guys. And one was uh, negative. IndieWire's Kristen Lopez scored it highly low. She gave it 75 out of 100 and said, Bruised isn't breaking any new ground from a narrative standpoint, but it does show the strength of Halle Berry as a director, boasting a powder keg of dominated performances within a simplistic story. There you go. But on the other end, the other end of the scale, got Empire's Ian Freer. He only gave it 40 out of 100. And he said, not even Halle Berry's presence can elide in this stale sports film family drama mashup. By the end of it, the barrage of cliches leaves you black and blue. See what he did there. Internet movie database. So this is what really counts. Is this is Joe Public. This is the guy who's going to watch it at the cinema. And it's not a total disaster, actually. The, the average is 5.8 out of 10. Again, just slightly below that 6 out of 10 I like to see. But uh, I ignore the 10 out of 10s. I ignore the 1 out of 10s just for balance, to be honest with you, because nothing's ever a 1 out of 10. Nothing's ever a 10 out of 10. Uh, so you end up with 1,405 people scored it between 6 and 9 out of 10. And 609 people scored it between 2 and 5. So that's a total of 70% scored it, obviously, between 6 and 9. So that's quite what I would call positivity. So that, that's pretty good. Uh, so my little thoughts on it, uh, not pretty good. Uh, a bit more a bit more coming down a little bit from that level. Uh, for me, uh, there's certainly not enough story in this to, to cover two hours, a two-hour-plus movie. It's a ridiculous length of time. I mean, it is a simple story. It's like, a, obviously, you think of the Million Dollar Babies meet Rockies, a, a sort of a, one I've been meant, has been mentioned, a comparison, and I would probably say that that's the style of film. I'm not saying it's up to either level of either film, but, uh, yeah, it is a simple story. Not many twists in it. Um, fairly simple. 
uh, nothing fantastic. No great. Uh, the fight scenes are very, very good. Uh, they're excellent. But uh, the gritty family drama sequences are sometimes just a little tepid or alarmingly painful to watch and not necessarily in a good way. Uh, you might understand that a bit more when you watch the thing. I don't want to say too much, but it was just... Yeah, it didn't quite didn't quite work on, on that side. It was either, either too much or you know, yeah, I expect the violence in the ring. Obviously there's violence outside of the ring, of course there is, but it, it just didn't quite work for me. And talking about things that didn't work, uh, I have seen some uh, glowing, glowing reviews of uh, Sheila Atim. I again, uh, she didn't she didn't inspire me or work for me at all in this. I thought she was pretty awful. But well, obviously, she, that was balanced out by uh, Halle Berry, who did a fantastic job as far as uh, the acting is concerned in this one. Uh, not not bad as directing, since it's the first one as well, considering. But say, she just <laughs> just needs to uh, leave a lot, lot more on the cutting room floor. But uh, yeah, I mean, there is a little depth to this story, which is uh, surprising for over two hours. There's not much depth at all. It's very much a length of film that's underutilised. And to be honest with you, even if, they, even if she's cut 40 minutes off this, even if, if Halle Berry, the director, and with the producer, and, the, and the, obviously the, the guys doing this after had lobbed 40 minutes off, it wouldn't have any made it any better, to be honest with you. It would have just allowed us, the viewers, to do something else with that 40 minutes. Because, uh, again, I said the story, story was still fairly weak and routine to fill even at a reduced time scale. So nothing new, nothing new to what's going on. As a, as, a, as a directorial debut, it was adequate. She did an excellent job as a sports as a, for a sports drama. Uh, and obviously Halle Berry's a standout as far as acting is concerned in this uh, film as well. Uh, so my score, yes, it splinters in the bum time, guys, again, from, from yours truly. Uh, there is enough in this for me to say, yeah, go and watch it, but... That's about it. It's a sort of meh for me. It was, um, yeah, it was yeah, as I said, I just wish I could have spent another 40 minutes actually uh, doing something else that, that it went on too long. But as I said, it didn't make any difference either way. It didn't make it a better film if you cut out all that. It just it was just the same feeling, to be honest with you. So I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10, which is my my sort of, not a total disaster score, uh, but it's not the 6 out of 10 watchable I like to see, and I give I give films that I would recommend other people to watch if they like that type of film. It's certainly no Million Dollar Baby. It's certainly no Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, or 6, or 7, or whatever we're up to at the moment, to be honest with you. And as I say, it is a subject matter I don't like. That might have been a little bit of a bearing on it. I'm not into this sort of this fight thing, this uh, I don't mind boxing. Uh, the normal stuff, but like I've never been into the, these other things, MMA or MMU, whatever it's called. I forget the Mar Marvel Universe answer, but uh, yeah, so that might have, you know, sort of tainted my score a little bit, but I, I don't think it did. I think I'm being fair to it. I'll give it a 5.5 out of 10, but I wouldn't put you off watching it if you, if you like that sort of thing. Because some of the fight scenes, uh, as I said, it's not my sort of thing, but they did look okay. I wouldn't say there's real, you know, sometimes you could see the punches being pulled a little bit, but uh, yeah, it, 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 some good action sequences. Let me know what you think. Anyway, so, say sadly the negatives outweigh the positives, and the positives really were only Halle Berry, so there's not much more I can say about that. Let me know what you think, anyway, guys, if you get to watch this. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have we going to do rest day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Film and TV channel. Or please, if you're interested in football at all, and I do a, a little, my little citizen channels on my football team, Manchester City, or you know somebody who might be interested, please give them a kick in that direction as well. That would be, be very, very grateful. But if you're not, you're not bothered, you want to watch some more Film and TV stuff, please, I hope you can join me again very, very soon. Until then, all I ask is please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.